Well, g'day everybody and welcome to Fishing North Atlantic. Yes, it has dropped. It was released in the wee hours of the morning for me. So, um, so we are, um, uh, so we're going to check it out now. All right. So we're going to start a career here. And, uh, obviously our name is, uh, that, uh, Simidium. We are a male. Uh, we're going to start with the tutorial for a first look of this and, uh, see how we go. And I'm assuming we can continue our career from there. So, uh, let's check it out. Let's see what the game has to offer. Been really, really excited about this coming out. Here we go. Uh, new mission start tutorial. Welcome to Nova Scotia to begin your career. With a, uh, you begin your career with a small harpoon boat that you have inherited from your uncle. With such humble beginnings, it will be a long road to become one of the legendary mariners of the North Atlantic. Uh, swordfish are best caught from August to October. All fish species in the game can only be fished within its season. Please check the in-game wiki to learn more, more about their seasons. But let us not get distracted with dreams of fortune and glory. Let's start with the basics. Okay, uh, new mission start tutorial. Okay, uh, increase the throttle. Yep, decrease the throttle. Move left, move right. Uh, press V to go into first person. F to stop driving. We'll just do all of this tutorial here. Uh, move backwards, forwards, uh, go up to the mast, which is up here. Uh, e to start driving, uh, W, S, uh, A and D. Okay, this is the map interface. You can open this by pressing the M key, okay. Using the buttons below, you can set custom waypoints to plot a route. Or you can select locations that you've previously visited and then fast travel to these locations. Now, it's a pretty well like fishing barren sea. You can either drive to the marked area yourself or if you want, you can plot a route and fast travel there automatically. Okay, so we want to uh, we want to go over to here. So let's just do a fast travel over to here. There we go and go out of the map. Okay, which is right there. Just uh, chug into here a little bit. There we go. All right, ah, here we go. Uh, go downstairs and press E. Okay, let's uh, let's get off of here. Let's go down here. Uh, go downstairs, downstairs. Ah, harpoon. Oh, look. Fish. Missed. Oh, hello. There's a fish over here. Have we got the harpoon back again? Oh, we got it. Reel it, reel it by holding E. Uh, okay, the lines, the lines going red. So I'm assuming when the line starts going red, that uh, you are at risk of losing the fish. So there we go. That's working. Oh no, we lost it. Line tear. Got him again. Let's uh, let's try and reel him in. Oh, oh, red. Wow, this is pretty difficult actually, guys, to be honest. It's pretty difficult uh, not... Here we go. Can we get him in? Can we get him in? Looks like we're okay. Uh, no. Oh, no. Wow, they give up a fight, don't they? They certainly give up a fight. Can we, uh, can we get him in? Can we reel him in? Come on. Oh, going red again. Oh, bugger. And we missed him again. Ah, oh, that's a bit of a bugger, isn't it? Okay, that is difficult. That's difficult trying to get these guys in. Uh, what are they going to do? Are they going to swim around us? Or are we going to have to chase him? We might have to chase him. Can we uh, go in here and maybe put a little bit of throttle in? Just a little bit, maybe? So that we're moving? I don't know. I wonder whether you can actually have somebody... Uh, I wonder whether you can actually have somebody drive the boat for you while you're doing this. That would be a pretty cool thing, wouldn't it? Uh, come on, let's move in. Let's move in. These guys are coming across. What else have we got? 
Um, so reeling the swordfish by holding E, be careful, reeling while the fish is struggling or the line might snap. Okay. Right, are we going to get an opportunity to have a go at these guys? It looks like we might. It looks like we might. Uh, let's see. Missed. Okay, it's not easy to do, guys. It is not easy to do. Ah, uh, got one. Got one. Reel him in. Okay, so you got to take your... You, got to really take your time the, the line looks like it goes uh, sort of a greenish to orange to red so it's obviously when they're really really struggling so it's starting to go to red again so we need to okay now it's going greenish see if we can actually draw this guy in uh, yeah come on you can catch him it's starting to go sort of yellow don't want to lose him again well not that this one's the same fish probably but uh, the other one's swimming around with a big harpoon hole in him come on well this is difficult this is difficult I want to have a go at these other fish as well can we get him in I don't know I don't know what's happening oh look at them all I wonder whether you can actually just release a fish uh, seems to be doing all right. We seem to be doing all right. He's struggling. He's struggling. Okay, I can't see the line. He's struggling again. We're kind of right through the boat now. So I don't know whether we can actually drag him in from that. He's quite a ways away, isn't he? Okay, what I'm going to do, I'm going to turn the... I'm going to actually t stop the boat. Because I reckon that might have been because we were... Let's see if we can get out and get another one. Missed him, missed him. Come on, fish. Uh, there's a big pile of them over there. Let's maybe throw the harpoon and hope for the best. Nope. Come on, guys. Come on, fish. All right. Uh, let's see. There's one out there. It's really hard to aim this thing too. Oh, we got him. All right, let's reel him in. Watch that thing there. Now, the boat's not moving this time, so hopefully we'll be okay. So reel him in when he's not completely struggling. Uh, I'm guessing we're reeling him in. Yeah, looks like we are. And then when he starts struggling and you can hear the line starting to run a bit, then uh, you need to kind of stop. It's looking okay at the moment. It's looking okay... Here we go, come on, come on, come on. Get him, get him, don't let him go. Gotta let him run a little. Oh, come on. Come on, because we've got these other fish swimming around as well. Let's bring him in, bring him in, come on, you can get him, you can get him. Ah, we got him. Got another one. Bring him in. Okay, he's going to want to struggle a bit. Okay, we've got another one. Beautiful. Oh, this it's it's actually the aiming's actually pretty pretty hard. Uh, let's see. I wonder how many fish we can actually catch. No, missed him. Well, this is uh this is pretty cool. I like this. Let's throw that out. No, missed. Mightn't have missed by too much. I think it's a game of patience, isn't it? With waiting around for these guys. It's really hard to move on here. They seem to keep getting stuck. Uh, will they come through? Now, I know you can also put markers on the maps as well, which is pretty cool. Um, so if you find an area of fish, you can actually mark that area so that you're aware that that's where the fish are. Can we reel a guy in from all the way over there? I don't know how far we can throw this thing. Oh, <laughs> that must have been pretty close. 
That must have been pretty close. It looks like they're coming back. That's good. All right. I also don't know whether you're better off being down here to do it or down the side. I'm not sure. Let's see if we can just have a, have a go anyway. Just see if we can luck out. Oh, that must have been pretty close. Surely that must have been pretty close. I can't see any others coming in. No. Alright. Let's see. Oh, that had to have been close. Had to have been close. Alright, got one. Got one. That's, uh, yeah, that's quite difficult, guys. Quite difficult to do. So, it's, 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 it's a good challenge. It's a very good challenge. I think this reeling in mini game is actually pretty cool as well. Um, you've really got to control the line. So, I like what they've done. I like how they've done it. Uh, keep your eye on the color of the line. That's, that's pretty good because it has those subtle changes in color. So... We'll see if we can get this guy in. It looks like the fish struggles for a little bit and then stops struggling. Alright, that's another one. And then stops struggling and then struggles a bit more again. Let's see if we can get one of these guys. No, missed. Alright. Uh, it would be good to be able to control the boat in some sort of way. Oh, that's going to way miss. <gasps> Got him. Wow. That's pretty lucky. Alright. Red line, red line, going yellow, going yellow, heading red. Be careful. I'm not sure how many we can actually... They're reeling in again. I'm not sure how many we can actually um, bring in before our hull is full. Let's keep reeling him in. Just watch that red. Watch that red. There we go. Wow, he's, he's quite a way away from the boat too, isn't he? Oh, no, 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 no. Okay, let's try and uh, get him in as quickly as we can. He stopped struggling now, so we'll try and get as much as we possibly can on it and drag it in. Uh, there we go. And he's starting to run again. Let's just not let him... Uh, let's not let him run too much. So these guys actually stand on the sides of these boats and throw the harpoons in. That is pretty cool. You'd have to be a pretty good shot, wouldn't you? This guy's given us a, uh, a big struggle. A big struggle. Come on. Really, man. He's getting close. He's getting closer. Uh, probably check our hull in a minute, I think, and check our storage. I'm not sure what type of capacity we have on this boat. So, wow, it's taking us a while to reel this guy in. Uh, it's, a, it's a big fight they must have so much power in them though if you're reeling one of these in in real life imagine the amount of power that this uh oh nearly lost him that uh these these fish would have massive amount of, of power yeah it's taken us a while we're getting him closer we're definitely getting him closer to the boat he's starting to wear out a bit i think now so come on I don't know what that is. Oh, don't don't lose him. Don't lose him. Come on, because we've got more swimming around there that we want to try and catch while we're at it. Let's go. Come on. Get him in. Get him closer. Get him closer. And it doesn't seem to take very long for the red to pop up and for you to start getting into trouble either. All right, he's worn out again. That was a big fight, guys. That was a big, big fight. Uh, let's just check our hull storage. Uh, head to the head to the mark port where you'll be able to sell the fish you've just collected. A mission waypoint has been set on the map. What I want to do is I want to have a look at... Uh, let's just jump in here for a sec. I want to have a look at... Uh, we've got plenty of storage by the looks of it. Which means we can probably actually... Probably better off reversing a little bit. Two notches back that way. Can we go into there? Okay, dismiss. Let's move back towards where they are. Hopefully they come to... I'm, I'm sort of... I've got the boat in reverse, so I'm hoping to sort of move back into, into where this school is, so... 
uh, so we can get a little bit closer. Maybe it'd be nice if you could get them to swim right underneath the uh, the, the the ramp there, the nose of the boat, wouldn't it? Um, it'd give you sort of the opportunity to to really give it a good go at uh, at hitting them up close and reeling them in pretty quickly. So, all right, I think we'll uh, turn that off. There we go, and we'll get out of here, and we'll head back out there, I think. Uh, all right, where are they? Here they are. All right, so we should be able to... Oh, you missed that terribly. So uh, yeah, let's drag him in. He'll give a bit of he'll be, he'll give a bit more of a fight, I think, in the initial stages before he wears himself out. So let's uh, but getting him closer to the boat means that you probably don't have to put as much of a fight in, doesn't it? He doesn't want to come in, does he? He really doesn't want to come in. He's really struggling to get away. All right, he's tired out a little bit. The rope has gone grey again, so we should... Uh, he's, wow, he's splashing around. Let's try and get him in, try and get him in. Don't go red. Alright, he's uh, got tired again. Very close, beautiful. Alright, where'd these other guys go? They're all gone over there. So while we're waiting for him to come in, I'm pretty sure what we can do is we can grab these and throw that down here so that uh, so that we can mark where that is uh, and hopefully hopefully get some more uh, should we should we try again or should we wait we might be better off waiting might be better off waiting for him to come in oh, I don't know it's just so tempting to to throw out and try and try and get them oh this, look I think there's one coming in straight towards us here, which will be pretty cool. Yeah, he is. He's coming straight. Oh, there's two of them, actually. Okay, I wonder whether you have some sort of stamina on this. Oh, you missed, Simmy. So easy, and you missed. They're coming under here. All right, got him. Got him. Let's reel him in. It's going to give a bit of a struggle for starts. Okay, there we go. He's getting, he's tired already. There we go. Got him. Beautiful. No. Oh, look, these ones are coming towards us as well. I'm guessing that we've. Um, be nice if you could see what you've got in your hull from out here without having to go in, wouldn't it? Let's. Uh, let's wait until they come straight past here because we might be able to get them straight past here okay, let's just bring him in bring him in oh he's struggling he's definitely struggling got him oh missed okay it is it is very difficult to hit these guys missed again so it's a matter of patience isn't it it is a matter of patience what do we got on the hull at the moment are they coming back no they're not uh, let's see half we've done half look at that they're all stacking up here where are you guys are you coming back this way or not uh, not sure yeah, they're starting to turn around. Yep, they're turning around and they're coming back. All right, let's get ourselves back over and prepared for these guys to come back again. So, I'm not sure. I wonder... Oh. Oh, you missed him. Got him there. Beautiful. Uh, yeah, it's really difficult when they're behind the boat. It's actually really, really difficult, so... Okay, he's not struggling. He's not struggling as much. Keep our eye on the... Keep our eye on the rope. Okay, he's struggling now. Or he's starting to struggle. And when his mates are here... 
Don't want to lose him. Rope's going green. Drag him in. Drag him in. Can't see the rope now. Got him. Okay. Missed that. So you need to aim. You need to. It's, it's got quite a bit of drop on it. Oh, surely that was pretty close. Nope. Completely missed that as well. <laughs> this is actually quite fun. This is very, very fun, guys. Ooh, that must have been close. Now, I don't know whether you can fish a completely fish an area out. So, for example, if um, if I get these other ones that are swimming around here, if that's, that's it, if they're done then, uh, I'm not sure. But uh, I really don't want to go back into port, especially in the first episode. I need to impress you guys, but I really don't want to go back into the port and uh, find... Uh, without sort of a semi-full hull, so. Alright, we'll wait for these guys to come back in. Um, graphics are looking good. I like the ocean. The ocean looks really, really cool. And uh, I think it, it actually feels a little bit more um, ocean-like in comparison to... Um, here they come again. Look, there they are. Uh, a little bit more ocean-like in comparison to Barrent Sea. Um, fishing Barrent Sea was an absolutely awesome game, as you guys know. And, um, but, uh, yeah, it kind of, um, th this, this feels a little bit more like we're out in the ocean. Just a little bit more, so. Um, the, the boat's been done really, really well. I like the fact that you start off with this as opposed to the previous one um, in Baron C where you started off that little sake or whatever it was. Um, that was a tough boat. So when we get back into port, um, we, we need to check out what type of upgrades and stuff that they have here. Oh, I missed that completely. Come on, reel it in. Ah, oh, missed the missed opportunities. So you've got like a, a right click that you can throw on there. See, that was too, too, uh, too low. And that's way too high. Hmm. No. All right. What we might do then is, um, we've got this marked. So we might, uh, we might head into, um, we might head into our waypoint. There we go. Uh, it looks like we've got some sort of email or something. Um, where is our waypoint, by the way? There. Okay, so we'll start moving that. Do we have? Um, we've got an. We've got an e. We've got a. Uh, an email symbol up the top. I don't know what that's about, and I can't figure out how to how to actually get into it. So. Uh, let's see, now having a look at the boat, we've got, uh, alright, the fish we've caught there. Um, we're moving forward, we've got our fuel down here, we've got our boat power here, the knots that we're doing. Uh, we've got the mini map here which we can zoom in and out of. We've got 1,626 uh, kilos of fish on board. Uh, we've got the weather the next few days which is actually pretty cool where uh, August to September is swordfish so I assume we're doing that we've got uh, running lights interior lights work lights and search lights uh, we have a fish radar although I'm assuming that this will be a very basic one uh, I've got music turned off but it looks like uh, you can control music here uh, radios and stuff uh, we've got storage remaining 1,374 kilos and we've got 1,600 uh, catch time swordfish two hours oh, okay so there's an age on the fish gutting uh, can we gut the do we gut the swordfish quotas swordfish 50,000 and tuna 50,000 so we're only doing swordfish and tuna at the moment because we're all harpooned up um, I don't think there's uh, gear on board, no gear is currently on the, uh, deploy gear, no gear is currently deployed. So I don't know, can we do 
do we gut these? I don't think we do, do we? Because they're all wrapped up fresh and ready to go. Wow, big fish, aren't they? Very big fish. All right, okay, so what we might do is uh, let's, let's fast travel into the port. Um, let's see. There we go, that's where we want to fast travel. So we'll fast travel into the port here. And then we'll check this out. A lot of other boat and boats and stuff here. There we go, fast traveling. Beautiful. Okay, and uh, let's get out of that. Uh, look at that. Is that a tugboat sitting there? It looks like it is. Yarmouth discovered. Excellent. Let's have a look out here. All right, we've got our fish on board. We've got our fish. I wonder how much we're going to get paid for this. Beautiful. So very similar, very similar docking wise. However, it looks like you don't have that little square. You've got a massive circle. Um, okay. Oh, hang on a sec. Is that a... Yeah, that's a little square. There's kind of a, a fakey little square there. I actually feel like I'm in a boat too. Uh, Alright, dock. Press E to dock. Uh, fish tips. Go to the bar in town to get tips on the best spots for fishing. Ooh, that's pretty cool. Uh, fish on board. Would you like to sell your fish at Yarmouth? Well, of course we would. Okay, swordfish, twenty-seven eighty-nine a kilo. Uh, average price swordfish usually sells for twenty-five dollars a kilo. Um, so obviously, different ports are going to have different fish prices as well. We've got eight of those. We, wow, well, we actually caught eight of those. Uh, estimated total revenue is forty-six thousand. Uh, depends on gutting quality of individual fish. I couldn't see an option to gut fish there though. I'm not sure whether they gut uh, swordfish and stuff. Alright, let's sell. Sell, sell, sell. Alright, that gave us 46,000. Look, 46,348. So what do we got currently rigged for harpooning? Uh, if you'd like to rig the boat for deep line fishing first, you must purchase rigging at the dock. Okay, so what have we got here? Fish market, uh, shop and fish prices. Fish prices, cod, lobster, pollock, silver hake, swordfish, tuna, snow crab, redfish, mackerel and haddock. Lobster and swordfish seem to be the, um, seem to be the good ones. I can't wait to get into doing some lobster fishing. Uh... Here you can upgrade your gutting knife, binocular, and hook. Uh, here you can buy a bait and bait your long lines. Shop. A uh, knife. Well, we don't... Hmm, didn't see any gutting there. Uh, hook, which is the uh, hooks that we normally do. Uh, upgrade your hook to increase the size of all fish caught. Ah, oh, okay. I'm, I'm assuming that that also means perhaps the uh, the swordfish and stuff that we drag on board. Uh, binoculars. Old. Uh, purchase more advanced pair of binoculars. Increase distance you can see. Four times zoom. That's got two times zoom. Six times zoom. Ten times zoom. And leather binoculars. <laughs> I'm a monocular, yes. We've got to work towards that, but uh, we can't afford it at the moment. Uh, what else have we got here? Um, dock. Boat maintenance and upgrade. Here you can buy fuel, repair your boat, or change the name of your boat. Uh, here you can buy various upgrades for your boat. Here you can buy a new boat or sell your old one. You always need to own a boat to buy a new... <gasps> you can sell your old boat. Oh, I'm so happy about that. That was one of the things that uh, I really wanted in uh, Fishing Baron Sea was the ability to sell your boat. Uh, rigging for harpooning, rigging for deep line fishing is going to cost us 15. Uh, I think we need to go and do harpooning because it's so new. So we need to continue doing that. 
Uh, maintenance, uh, let's see, buy fuel. We don't need any, f uh, yeah, we might as well fill up. Uh, tank's already full. Repair hull, boat is undamaged. Uh, change the name and the colour. Uh, I don't know, what, what can we call our boat? I actually like that. I actually don't mind that. Look, a drunken sailor font, font size. Boat colour? Oh, so that's just... Oh, that's font colour. Okay. Alright. Uh, okay, cool. And then you can rename it. Uh, reset name to default. No, we're just going to keep it on. <laughs> we're going to keep it as the Mickey. Alright. Uh, what else have we got here? Upgrades. Upgrades. That's what we want to have a look at. Storage. Uh... Standard storage we own, storage 2, storage 3, uh, plus 2,000 kilos and plus 3,000 kilos. Engine, uh, standard engine, engine 2 plus 8 horsepower, plus 15 and plus 20. So we could probably, uh, do you have to, do you have to go through each one? Uh, no, it doesn't look like you have to. Look at that. That's pretty cool. Uh, what else have we got? Radar. Um, upgrade your radar. Increases range for discovering hidden locations in boats and radar 3. Can we add that to the basket? I think that's probably a good one as well. It looks... Looks like you don't have to buy the previous one like you did previously. What does the autopilot do? Uh, autopilot lets your boat steer itself and hold a preset course. <gasps> yes. That's pretty cool. Uh, fishing quota, fishing sonar, we're not using at the moment. Fish at greater depths, so we're not doing any deep fishing. Uh, searchlight. Uh, searchlight 3, intensity 20 CD, 1500 meters. What's the. 500. Now the searchlights didn't really do that much in um, in Barrancy. I wonder whether they do in this. I'm going to give them the benefit of the doubt and say that they do. So I'm going to add that to basket. All right, let's check out. Basket is empty. So uh, let's have a look just to make sure. Radar owned. Uh, that one there, owned and installed, so it's automatically owned and installed. Uh, okay, it's cool. Alright, that's pretty awesome. Uh, what else do we have here? So shipyard, shipyard, let's have a look at the ships. Available ships at this point in time, I'm assuming others unlock. Oh, look, we can actually spin this around, that's pretty cool. Um, uh, Lenora is a mid-sized fishing boat that can be rigged for line, net, deep liner and lobster fishing. Ooh, we're going to have to probably work towards getting that to go and do some lobster because I really want to do some lobster. Uh, backstabber is rigged for harpoon and deep line fishing. I reckon that's the boat. Is that the boat that we've got? No, it's, it actually looks like an upgrade, doesn't it? Yeah, it does. Uh, the Coaston. Uh, crab boat based on the well-known... Oh, yes. Crabbing. Crabbing was... Ah, oh, look. It's, it's the... What is it? The Northwestern? Yeah, the Northwestern. That's pretty cool. And the Dexter. Uh, modern freeze trawler used for bottom trawling. This ship is rigged for fishing cod, polycatic and redfish. Such an interesting looking boat. Wow, we have uh, we have some work to do, and I'm guessing that there's probably going to be even more upgraded boats later on. Mickey's a harpoon boat, yeah. It's only we've only got the small one at the moment, so so that was an upgrade. That other one, uh, storage size three thousand, maximum storage size six thousand, maximum additional crew one. Uh, Total quota per year, 100,000 kilos. Fuel tank, 1,000. All right, beautiful. So there you go. That is that. Uh, in town, what have we got? Uh, you can hire crew. Check your crew house where your hired crew were placed. Uh, here you can borrow money and repay money. 
Here you can get various tips and missions from the locals. Here you can get insurance and rescue. So let's go to the bar because they did say that we can get tips from the bar. Um, get location of Silver Hake from three days ago, $1,000. Get location of redfish from a week ago. Well, we might as well get that because it's free. Swordfish is free, but that's a week ago. I wonder how the fish move in this and whether or not you can go back out there and get them. Uh, tips. No, that was where we were. Missions. Okay, help deliver cargo to another port. Uh, I assume in this one that it would be the same as uh, you can't fast travel when you're delivering cargo. So we might look at that in the next episode. Crew. Crew for hire. Uh, pot hauling, cooking, repairing, hand gutting, machine gutting, freezing, stacking, long line net, pot baiting, sorting, crane and deep line. So it doesn't look like you can have anybody on the harpoon. No, it doesn't. So you've got to do the harpooning yourself. Okay, these guys, are, some of these guys are, are, are pretty skilled, aren't they? Uh, obviously, the, the more pricey they are, the more skilled they are. Like that dude there, Mikhail Wood, he's pretty cool. Uh, who else do we have? Okay. There's quite a few people and there will be different people at other ports. On board we don't have anybody. Crew house we don't have anybody. Uh, what else do we have? Um, bank. What can we do at the bank? We can borrow. Uh, 10,000 over... Oh, 20,000 over 48 months. Monthly repayment. That's not too bad, is it? It seems like they've... Um, they may have overhauled it a little bit. I don't know price-wise. I can't remember what the uh, bank loans were. All I do know is that we did have a uh, very big, very big bank load in the previous uh, in Fishing Baron Sea. We had a very big loan. All right, guys. Well, that is it. I am going to leave this episode here. What do you guys think of this? I was so excited about this, and uh, I think it's going to be really, really good. And I think it's going to be a fantastic series. Hit the like button. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't subscribed. Um, the more likes I get, the more the more likely I am that I am going to do a, a big full series of this. So keep hitting those like buttons. And don't forget to come and join us on Twitch. It would be awesome to see all you guys on Twitch. But uh, for now, I'm going to leave it here. And I will see you in the next episode of Fishing North Atlantic. See you guys.